Hello. All right. Let us pray. Father, we thank you very much for today, for our lives. Thank you for the blood of redemption and atonement. Thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you because this life you have purchased for yourself and for your glory and to demonstrate whom you are upon the face of the earth. Father, we thank you for your grace over this assembly, this church, this ministry, over every one of them here and all of us. Father, we thank you very much for the opportunity and the privilege to witness another year. Many were dead completely. Last year was terrible. When we started last year, nobody knew that something like pandemic, whatsoever they call it, was on the, in the horizon. But Father, thank you, you preserve your own people. Because we know that there is Goshen in every Egypt, land of Egypt. And you are preserving us, our families, everything pertinent to us. Because you have established Goshen for us in this land. Father, I want to thank you for what you have done so far. The progress made in this assembly under the shepherdhood of your servant, Pastor Tindy and Pastor Tim. Father, we thank you. Thank you for wonderful families in this, our Kingsborough family. We thank you because we are part of them. Thank you for the connection that we have with them. Lord, I thank you for today. And you have given the privilege that I come and minister and just bless them. Lord, I thank you because whatsoever you have given, that is exactly what I will give to them. Because I know you are going to confirm and perform your word. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's nice to be back at home. Even though it's been a while because of pandemic, but uh, like uh, Pastor I rightly said, uh, we are part of this family, we are part of this assembly, and uh, we don't need to, uh, to, you don't need to say, but we pray for you every day. You are always at the altar by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I hope we are fine. I know, I can see the glory of God. So I want to appreciate the. Uh, um, the uh, pastor, uh, pastors in the house, Pastor Tuli and Pastor Tui, I really want to appreciate them because of the love, because of the care and the support they give to us. Just want to say we love you and your entire family. Can we put our hands together to pray for them? <laughs> All right. I brought my laptop. Uh, you know, there are some of us in the or old generation, we get our scroll and just papers and pieces of all these things uh, that was ministry what they are uh, on on zoom just 15 minutes and um and to some group of people they call themselves kingdom millionaire <laughs> so after 15 minutes of uh, pray, praying with them and just ministration uh, somebody fell i think you will need laptop i say god i think i didn't tell it <laughs> So since then, I've been, I've, been, I've been adapting to it. Praise the Lord. All right, I'm going to minister from there uh, today. Uh, the first thing that the Lord showed me when I, it took me around down to this place, and I, I, was, I, I was standing at the gate of this place in the realm of the Spirit, and I saw that individual people were dumping axes, dead axes. All the members, you know, it's like caches, like when they ask these people to drop their knife and guns and all this. Yes. Yeah. So, and I saw in, in the realm of the spirit that were dumping, you know, acts, the axes that were blunt. And the Lord told me that that is the, the state of this assembly, that it's a year that we mark acceleration in every aspect of everybody's life. Because the dumb, dead, dumb acts have been taken away. Angels have come to collect it. And at the same time, I saw parcel and carton of fresh axes as well. Being brought by the angel at the gate and was given to every one of you as well. Because there is going to be accelerated progress. But you need sharpened axes to do that. And I, I look at that. So when I came back in that vision, I knew God was seeing something in Ecclesiastes chapter 10. 10. Suppose the blade of an axe is dull or blunt. And its edge hasn't been sharpened. The more effort is needed to use it. <laughs> <Hallelujah>. <laughs> the 
The Lord is saying this time around, you don't need to use a lot of effort. Holy Spirit will use it. You know, Holy Spirit will handle it for you. And your axes have been sharpened already. Somebody say acceleration. acceleration. Somebody say acceleration. acceleration. So the Lord says sharpen axes have been distributed. And uh, the, the enemy uh, in, 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 a, in a very way, because I don't just want you to look at the axes that, okay, maybe this is it. There are some people... You know, your axe or your axes, they your health. And I need to bring it to that level. Because the Lord said there are some of you that really struggled earthwide last year. Even to the point of death. But the Lord said he has already healed you. Amen. That's the first thing I'm bringing. Because it has already sharpened your health. Your health system is going to improve better and better and better. In the name of Jesus. Because glorious days lies ahead of you. Hallelujah. There are some of us who struggle in our ministry. You know, the things is not, the, the ask to, to run the ministry is not sharp. But God has made this sharper <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are some of us who are struggling in the area of our business. You know, the finances is not sufficient for you to run the business. The Lord has sharpened. The Lord is releasing strong finances in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some in our career. Oh, le crambo sete keria masaka. You struggle in your career. Hallelujah. Some because you don't have help. You don't have people to help. But thank God Jesus is there to help you. Acceleration in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say acceleration. Yeah, it's a year of acceleration. It's, and the Lord said in Isaiah 41, see this. See, I will make you into a threshing sledge. Can you see now? It's no dull sled, no dull axis anymore. I will make you into a threshing sled, new and sharp with many teeth. Oh, Father, we thank you. So it's not you struggling for it. He's the one that we make us. And he has made us to be. Because Jesus Christ did that one on the cross of Calvary. And when he made all things available unto us. This is just the prophetic side of it. And I just need to release that. You know, be sure that it's a year of acceleration. And this is the message. This is for the church. For every one of all you are going to see things will change in a very drastic way. It's a season of change in the mighty name of Jesus. It's a season of progress. The Lord is saying that this church will progress. You know, hallelujah, higher and higher. It's a year of progress. It marks the beginning. Hallelujah. We are going to see that. I thank God for that. Then the next thing that we do, um, the Lord, because of the time, God, what do you want me to do? And the Lord, <laughs> the Lord said, you are going to give them what I call ten command, uh, six co covenant blessing. Six covenant blessing for this year. And uh, I see all of us, we uh, put our mask just to obey government. Uh, because I'm, I'm becoming radical on my Facebook. I know they've shut me down for some time um, this time around. Because I realized that, that um, Isaiah 11, verse 4. Can you put it down for me, please? Isaiah 11, verse 4. Isaiah 11, verse 4. As uh, Pastor Tony, you study microbiology. I did a little bit of it because I studied, I read chemistry as well. And we understand how this microbe and all these things, how they work. Uh, one thing is that whenever you, 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 we close, you use the mask to close this and cover the nose, all the things that we're supposed to exhort out, we swallow it. So there's more death with the mask that we are putting on. That is scientific. I'm not saying those yes, the law, but that is that is what we learned. You know, you are breathing what's supposed to be out, so we are still getting in carbon dioxide and all the things we are still getting in. So I, I I can't understand. You know, God knows how to turn the wisdom of the wise upside down. The only thing that is keeping some of us is the the blood of Jesus Christ because we take uh, communion. Hallelujah. Now, where I'm going is, is this. Uh, verse 4, it will give justice to the poor and make fair decision for the, ex, for, for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word and warm bread. Ah, which? No, please. Can you give me KJV? Let's go to the old time one. <laughs> this one is something else. 
Yeah, yeah, something else. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Now, and he shall smite the earth with what? The rod of his mouth. Now, they ask us to shut our mouth. And the word of God is the rod. And also with the Holy Spirit, what with what? And with the breath of his lee, we will slay the wicked. Satan is very cunning. Everything that is do, so dear, every instruction that the Bible gives, because this thing they are giving, Satan is giving them the instruction. Look at what the Bible says. When you open your mouth, when we pray, you know, we release the word of God. And as the word of God comes, you know, which is a, a, the rot of our mouth, you know, and the, the breath that comes from our, our mouth, which is the Holy Spirit as well as we speak, that strengthens the word that proceeds, it destroys all things. And I was speaking the other day, as I, I was speaking on Facebook, I said, you know what, uh, I'm sorry, because when if, anytime I'm riding my bike on a daily basis, I release my breath, I don't cover my nose, because... The breath of my mouth sanitizes the atmosphere. When I pray in tongues as I'm walking on the street without covering my mouth, and it's only when I'm going to the bank when they compel you to do it. Because as believers, when we move out, we walk around. What we are doing is that there is rot in our mouth. And that is the word that we are sanitizing the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, in my borrow, I come against COVID-19, I destroy those viruses by the rod of my mouth and by the breath of the power of the Holy Spirit that is inside of me. So let us understand it's not just everything they dish on to us that we just think verbally. Let's think about what the Bible is saying. We are to slay the wicked. Hallelujah. With the rod of our mouth, it says by his strife you are healed. The word of God is the rod and also is the hammer. And it's also, the Bible says, fire as well. So as you move around, the only thing we can do as believers is that don't just think only that. Release the word into the atmosphere. Speak in tongue to the atmosphere. And we are going to see things change. Hello, somebody. Is that okay? That is me. Not also, 22nd of September this year, the Lord came to my, to my room. I was sleeping. That was a very massive life flooded, um, which I'm used to by the grace of God. It came and they were shouting, which is quite unusual, that I have controversy with my church. I have controversy with my church. I, I woke up and I quickly jumped down my bed I, and um, I was listening that this is the time that I've established for my church from the ancient time to demonstrate my glory globally. But my church is not in alignment. My church does not understand my purpose. That the, even the, the, the pandemic is talking about COVID-19. That he designed this time around to reveal his glory through the church. But he said, alas, my church are not in alignment. They are passive and they are insensitive. So I went, I quickly go and jot it down in my, in my laptop because it's a bit extensive. What is God saying about, about that? So, and, and I wrote all those things. I said, the reason being that, the reason is this. I'm going to start something along that area. He said, the first thing that I did for my job, for my apostle, the first commission I gave to them was to license them to give free earth services to the world. Are you hearing me? You are too quiet. <laughs> That the first commission that he gave to the apostle, if you look at Matthew, 9, Matthew 10, he commissioned them. He gave them power to cure all diseases, to cast out the devil, and to raise the dead. Look at all of us. The zip our mouth. Free health care services to the world was the first thing he said, I have licensed my church. To give free health care services to humanity. He said, but where is my church? And when things like that come, it's, I could be emotional. Because I know he's speaking to me, uh, you know, uh, uh, knowing that I should be able to pass across as a prophet. Because one of the key things for a prophet is not just to see, but to receive revelation. 
and mystery and release it to the body of Christ. That is very important. And that really weighed me down. That we have been licensed. And if, when they were going, he told them, freely you receive. Do what? Freely give. We are hanging on NHS. It's inundated. They are phoning us. They are texting us. Please, if it's not a serious one, don't come to the... Don't phone a... And, and, and because I received those texts, we carry something that the people of the world don't have. We carry the life of Jesus Christ. And I believe this is the time we need to challenge ourselves as people of God, the body of Christ, that we have been licensed. I could remember Brother Cerulos uh, spoke to us years, years ago. He was in Mexico, and the crusade was packed, the stadium. With so many people that were sick and not, and the anointing moved when he ministered, that all of them were healed. The next thing is that the police came, they arrested him. You were practicing medicine without license. They put him in jail. I think for some days. Can you imagine? Because they couldn't believe it that thousands of people were healed. And that is what we are to do in our generation. We must be intentional in understanding what Jesus Christ has called us to do. And I've made up my mind. I'm going to set up a particular program from this year. Free kingdom X services. We just speak. You know, every, every opportunity you have, speak it. Release the word. He sent his word and he healed all of them. We can do it. We are able to do it. Jesus paid the price on the cross of Calvary to do it. And we are going to be intentional in doing it. We have been licensed. You have been licensed. It's not for the apostle only. It's not for the prophet. Every believer, once you are born again, you can lay your hand upon the sea. You can cast out the devil. We can raise the dead. Amen. It's not just for apostle or pastor. Once you are born again, you can do it. So then I look at it and say, we have failed you. Then he now said it, even Acts chapter 10, verse 38 confirms it. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good, healing the sick. He was not even waiting in, in the church and said, Go and bring his sick people to the church or to synagogue. He was going, he was looking for people to, to heal. He was looking for people to heal. And that should be our attitude. Look for opportunity. The pandemic has ravaged and done a lot of damage. By the time the lockdown is over, we will have a lot of work to do. You know, Jesus Christ said the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are very few. Are we ready for the harvest? Are we ready for it? Just to drop that one into your spirits, because I'm, I'm very mindful of time. Hallelujah. Six covenant blessings for the year. Isaiah 29, 17 to 21. Isaiah 29, 17 to 21. There are six of them. I will just look, look at it. Is it not yet a very little time? <laughs> Why the, that till Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field. Hallelujah. Somebody say turn around. The first thing the Lord put in me is that this year is going to be a year of turnaround. He said in a little while, and we have entered into that little while. It's not going to be long anymore. And I speak that turnaround over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the fruitful field be esteemed as a forest. In that day the deaf shall hear the words of the, of the book. And the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The humble also shall increase their joy in the Lord. And the poor among the men shall rejoice. Number one. The Lord see year 2021 for you. Hallelujah. Kingsborough Family Church. This year is a year of turnaround. For your progress, in your success, for sound health, in your businesses, your career, in your ministry, I pronounce it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be turn around. Somebody say turn around. Turn around in every aspect of your life. I decree turn around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Psalm 126 tells us when the Lord talks. 
Oh my goodness, I don't want to. I need to be disciplined. Time, time cannot permit me. There's a lot of things loaded in that. Hallelujah. How mark is it? Because in that particular Psalm 126, there are, there are five indicators of turnaround. Number one is a time of wonder. When the Lord turned again, captivity of Zion, we were like them. That, that's wonder. Somebody say wonder. wonder. This is my year of wonder. <coughs> Number two, second indicator, laughter of joy with singing. Hey, that is your portion. <laughs> he said that then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Number three, undeniable miracle before your enemy. Hey, then they said among the heathen, the Lord <laughs> has done something mighty for them. Glory be to God. The fourth indicator, outstanding testimony with gladness. The Lord has done great things. The Lord has done great thing for them. We are out. We are glad. That will be your experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Another one, another indicator. It is a season of joyful harvest for every seed you have sown in tears. Hallelujah. I decree harvest. Every seed that you have sown in tears, may you begin to reap up a harvest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number six, it is a season, a time of turn around, the time when things turn around. It's a time and season of evidential proof of God's turning one sorrows into joy. Hey, my goodness. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bringing precious seed. He shall doubtly come again with rejoicing, bringing shield with it. In the name of Jesus, I release, I decree that in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and I declare that year 2021 shall be a year of supernatural turnaround. A year of reset for new calendar of life. In Jesus' name, every situation that appears as barren land and patch ground in your land, in your business, in ministry, career, marriage, shall become fruitful field by the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare in Jesus' name that year 2021 shall become your year of celebration. Festival of financial material harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Yakota Halik. Number two, verse 17b. And the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. You just look at it. It's just like you, some of you that have garden behind your house, you just look at it as small garden. But one day you just open up and you see large forest. You see extender, you see expansion. That will be your experience. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that means this means that year 2021, instead of stagnation, you will experience multiplication. Enlightenment is taking place. Uncommon increase. Exponential progress on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. Malika Tariabaha. Job chapter 8, 7 say, Oh, do undo you started with little but you will end up with much ah that is me that is me somebody say that is me say my daddy is talking to me he's talking to me hallelujah <laughs> in jesus mighty name the lord of harvest we breathe upon your little seed and we turn it to bumper harvest in the year 2021 in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah number three blessing number three in that day the deaf shall hear the words of the lord of the book what does that mean lord is saying the year 2021 the word of the lord will come alive it will be amplified in your spiritual ears in jesus name in this coming year 20 this year that we have entered we will hear from god's divine direction divine guidance divine instruction receive it in the name of jesus you will be led by the spirit of the lord in the name of jesus it means that our ears will not be dull of hearing to what god wants us to do what god wants to say to us in the mighty name of jesus malika taprantiskeleha radagedo bragaske telimo fonta prahante keskeleha father love we thank you and the eyes of them that see shall not be dim and the ears of them that hear shall akin hallelujah that is isaiah 32 3 glory be to god <clears throat> <laughs> mm. 
Oh, Father, we thank you. Let's worship the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. I know my leke secretary at to suta taparia maseke. La passe is a commanded blessing. It's a covenant blessing. It cannot be reversed. It shall come to pass. It will not go back to God void in the name of Jesus. Father, your word say, whosoever have ear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. God is a speaking God. He always wants to speak to his children and we are his children. May the Lord speak to your hearing. May you hear him clearly in this year, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May you hear God properly in this year 2021 i decree and i declare that from this moment on in makate kate kraka heaven will open you will hear what the heaven is saying in the mighty name of jesus i want you to touch your ears the holy spirit by the blood of jesus christ i want to experience spiritual the waxing of my teeth was of my ears whatsoever that is clogging my ear Nekosaka, whatsoever that never allow me to hear God, let there be the waxing, the waxing, the waxing. <laughs> let there be remover of every clogging substance, everything that is blocked, every blockade in your spiritual ear. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be the wax completely. In the name of Jesus Christ, all throughout year 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2021, you will hear the sears the law for divine direction concerning every step that we take in the name of jesus father lord we thank you lord i bless you number four and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness mm. based on this fact the lord spoke to me that year 2021 for you is a year of spiritual enlightenment a year that our eyes of understanding shall be divinely illuminated to see the goodness and the glory of God in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our eye will be divinely enlightened to locate the hidden riches and treasure of darkness. Ha! Isaiah 45. He said, I will give you the treasure of darkness. Uh, there are hidden riches in UK. There are hidden riches anywhere you are all over the place. But it will, oh my goodness, God help me here. It will take the eye that is illuminated. I pray that your eye be illuminated. There are hidden riches in every area in this land, across the nation. Hallelujah. There are hidden riches. There are treasure of darkness. It is only people that God illuminate their spiritual eye that can pick, that can discern, that can see and have access. Somebody say access. True divine illumination. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray therefore for you, every one of you, this year, 2021, your eye will be divinely illuminated. Cleansed by the blood of Jesus to discover hidden riches, treasure of darkness through divine direction. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are wells of milk and honey in this land to sustain you sustain your family ministry i pray you will have access in the mighty name of jesus christ and that remind me there was a time when abraham sent out a guy with only one bottle of water with the with the boy he said go away they went and the bottle of water finished and this woman a guy began to cry and put the, the, the boy at a very distance that this boy will not die in my presence she went away and she began to cry somewhere i don't want my child to that they bought only one bottle of water that the, the, the so called father gave to him to her that is finished hallelujah woman being give you a bottle of water but God has a well for you Amen. as he cried unto the Lord as he cried unto the Lord a man give just a bottle of water but in the realm of the spirit you are entitled to well may you, de may you receive may you have access to well I say access to your well of living water honey access to, access to well of honey well of me well of finances in this is there is there access in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh my goodness and the angel just came you are weeping say yes but Come on, look at well. A bottle of water, that was only what the husband gave with the child. But God said, you know what? Ah, Father, I give it. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. I know many of you will break through in business this year. 
Father, I thank you. There are some of you, you are embarking on digital business. I hear digital business. The Lord is saying, launch your net into the deep. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hear a couple of you doing fashion. You are moving to fashion. Father, I want to thank you for such people, digital business. I hear fashion as well. I hear media. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, give them access. So I say, receive access, receive access, receive access. In the mighty name of Jesus, a bottle of water, but God has a well. As for somebody, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will open our spiritual ear, eyes to locate in this nation and other nations the hidden wells of milk and honey and gold and silver, land, property which you have set apart for our inheritance because we are the children of God. Father, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to bless your holy name. Number five, one, he said, the humble shall increase their joy in the Lord. That is where I'm, I'm going to stop. The Lord spoke that this year, 2021, will be a year of abundant joy and strength to do greater exploit. I say abundant joy, receive it to do greater exploit. Because the word of the Lord said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Father, I want to thank you. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. I've given them what you have given unto me, but I just give the number six. It's a year. It shall be a year of strategic and divine protection. Oh, this, you will like this. Hey, 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 hey. You will like this. You will like this. Zechariah chapter two. I'm stopping there. Verse five. For I, says the Lord, we be unto her a wall of fire. Hey, mountain of fire. <laughs> hey, he said, I. It is not the first thing that you will receive. It's not about that. It's not about covering with the mask. But your father is saying, for I. Somebody say, my father. He's talking to me. He said, for I. That is Zechariah chapter 2, 5. For I, says the Lord. I will be unto her a wall of fire round about and I will be the glory in the midst of her. Father, I want to thank you. Let's lift up our hands. Father, I thank you that which you have given. I have pronounced all those blessings, covenant blessings over them which you have given. Father, I thank you. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Let your father know that you have received it. You are in agreement with his servant, the prophet. You are in agreement with his servant, the prophet. These are the six covenant blessings. They are irreversible. I have released it. So shall my word be which proceed out of my mouth. Father, we thank you. Lord, I bless you. That which you have given, I've given it to them. Confirm your words and let your name be praised. In the name of Jesus. For those in digital businesses, Father, expand the horizon. For those that you have said they are moving to fashion, Father, in the name of Jesus, expand their horizon. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I want to thank you for everyone involved in business or ministry. Expand their horizon. In the mighty name of Jesus, for those that are sick, no more sickness, no more disease, no more affliction. Our Father said he has built a wall of fire. <laughs> By the power in the blood of Jesus, you are surrounded with a wall of fire. Hallelujah, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, I just want to pray, oh God. That passage of Ega is very important. Many of us we suffer, but when God opened our eye, treasure of darkness, He didn't reach it. They are all over the place. Father, I pray, oh God, this year you open our eye. Many people are becoming millionaires during the pandemic because they saw something by which they can bring solution to the problem. Father, we are problem solvers. Father, open our eyes, oh God, to see that we are problem solvers. 
in the name of jesus there are businesses there are ideas that are floating in the realm of the spirit so that we can get venture into it to become problem solver father in the name of jesus you have called us by the blood of jesus open our eyes empower us in the name of jesus thank you god bless you in jesus mighty name thank you very much hallelujah